Hello all, this is TechJax here. Um, what I want to do is actually demonstrate a quick group policy that you can set in order to help to solidify the security of your domain machines in the form of eliminating uh, what could potentially be a way for users or bad guys to uh, make their way into your domain, which is knowing usernames and being able to brute force um, as a result of having at least that information. Um, as you can see, uh, during regular control of delete logins, the previous user who logged into the machine is still shown in an attempt to, I guess, make it easier for you to get into Windows. And as a result, if I was a bad guy and I just happened upon this particular machine and I knew a little bit about that other user, whether or not I was phishing and I knew his address or his birthday or his wife's name or something, it just gives you a lot more um, ability to actually uh, make an attempt to actually, uh, you know, get in unauthorized on that person's machine via their username. So what we're going to do is actually disable that so that usernames do not display when they're logging into their machine so that we can help our security a little bit more and in a lot of uh, particular situations uh, this is a compliancy thing and it's a security thing and you might have to implement this as a result so I just want to take a quick uh, couple of steps to show you guys how to implement that if you would need to so again um, I'm going to log off the machine and again we're going to see that my information will still be available for a quick login and that's what we want to eliminate so on our server box uh, where we're going to actually control our group policies uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up um, our group policy for us how it pertains to our particular domain and I'm going to link this particular policy to our workstations OU because we want this to affect our computers and that OU. So I'm going to create a GPO in this domain and link it to that particular OU and I'm going to name it the domain login name policy. And we're going to go ahead and edit this and give it some detailed configurations so that it applies to our particular machine the way we want it. Uh, so what I will do here is log back into this machine because what we want to do is a group policy update as soon as I actually apply it so that we can get faster results for the sake of the video length. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get that ready now. Okay. And back in our group policy management, when we create our group policy, what we want to do is go into our computer configuration. We want to expand the policies and expand window settings. There's the security settings here, and that's where we're going to go because um, this is a security uh, a setting that we're going to set. So, um, under local policies and security options, this is where we're going to find the interactive login policies that we want to uh, change. So, when we scroll down, we can see that there's an option to do not display the last username and that's what we want to enable we want to define this policy and enable it so that it no longer shows the last uh, user's login information and we're going to actually apply this to lock screens as well um, in certain um, situations uh, users lock their screens with the uh, windows and l key so we don't want to uh, hiding our security when it comes to just logins. We also want to heighten it when we come to um, logging off and hitting um, lock screens as well. So I've set the settings that we need in order to configure this properly and it's currently linked to our workstations OU. <coughs> if I wanted to set a security filtering here then I would do so for my Windows 7 machines and that's it. That's all we need to do there. So on our Windows 7 machine, what I will do is a group policy update so that this computer can check in and get the newest update of that group policy as fast as possible. Machines need to be rebooted or restarted when a group policy is applied or deployed to a collection, not a collection, but a OU that they're in. Uh, so in this particular scenario, we want to restart the machine so the new group policy takes place. 
if I was um, making a user group policy change, like uh, giving myself admin rights on this machine or giving myself access to a network share, then all I would have to do is log off. But since this is directed to the actual computer and it's a computer policy, we have to restart. So we've had our successful GP update. And I'm going to go ahead and restart this particular machine. So this helps in, in, in scenarios in which, again, you have a very high uh, security compliance standard that you need to meet. And whether it's with HIPAA or um, high trust or any um, like SOC uh, compliancy boards, um, there might be situations in which you need to, you know, adopt a more secure strategic strategy when it comes to mitigating any factors or possible factors when it comes to people being able to uh, get unauthorized access to your domain. Um, so after a restart, we're going to go ahead and hit control delete again. And as you can see, there's no more information there that a user uh, or a bad guy could use in order to actually try to infiltrate our system. They still have the um, ability to see our corp domain here and that's a setting that we can change as well uh, but for this particular video we just wanted to eliminate the usernames displaying uh, when we logged off or when we were first trying to log into the machine so what I'll do is I'll log into the machine really quick and as you can see I'm logged in as TechJax what I'll do is log back off and when we hit control or delete again, it'll just verify that that setting is taking place and we will not be able to see the last user's login name again. And we didn't. So each time the user would have to log in using their username, uh, which shouldn't be that big of an issue, especially when it comes to mitigating security uh, vulnerabilities and risk in your environment. I just want to make sure that the group policy is being applied to our particular system. And there you go. There's our domain login name policy. Uh, so this is TechJax. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks.